Welcome back to my YouTube channel as I take you down to the deep dive of how my third year second semester went. <laughs> well, that's all I can say. It was such a roller coaster of terror, excitement, and more terror, and sleepless nights, and, well, more wow. <laughs> Let's go. So, week one, since I returned to school, and I've been quite exhausted for no particular reason. I haven't done anything, and so far I'm supposed to prepare for my test because I'm writing a quiz tomorrow for probability. And I'm just so exhausted. I'm not sure if it's like holiday effect. Well, I didn't really have much of a holiday because I spent two weeks of my three weeks holiday uh, working uh so i really did not have like enough time to properly rest and properly properly you know just enjoy vacation so right now as the week has started i'm literally tired i haven't done anything much i'm sleeping so i just come to school go to lectures finish lectures, do absolutely nothing, go back home and sleep and I'm tired make it make sense <laughs> but yeah, we're going to see how the rest of the day goes because I still have one more um, lecture to attend so I'm just waiting for that and then I'm going to see how everything goes from there yeah, previously you heard me say that I haven't done anything much and I have been sleeping in my week one oh. I wish that was the case. Everything went downhill from week two. <sighs> That's when you experience the reality of what second semester of third year is all about at the University of Vat Vatersrang. When they say that Vat will give you the urge, huh? I thought I got the urge during my first semester, but whoa, mistaken I was because second semester literally showed me something terrifying extremely terrifying i did not know if i could even manage to complete every single task i was, I was given now things that made second semester challenging is that this is an exiting year which means that the university is trying to determine if indeed you are qualified enough to be in your final year second the amount of assignment, project, and report due is extremely overwhelming. This is where character development becomes important. You really need to know how to prioritize your time and work or else you will drown in this immense file or pile of work that you need to finish. And indeed, I was drowning. <laughs> I couldn't survive. Oh my god. But I made it. Made it. Made it. So somehow, someone sent a lifeguard to come and take me out of the ocean should i say Ooh. third is there's no time there's no time to do your coursework as efficient as you will hope to do it because especially if you are weak at a certain course in my particular case i'm not the strongest when it comes to software and therefore i spent majority of my time trying to improve like my ability to code or my ability to engage with software development too and the result of that it impacted my other performance in my other course because there's just so much time for you to you know deal or dive deeper in your other related fields and your other related course and those courses are just as demanding as the other they are just as hard as the other courses so the least amount of time that you spend on them the quicker they come to bite you so how do you manage? How do you survive second semester of third year? Huh? You don't. Well, you do. You just have to kind of like, what can I say? Beat your leg in the water to prevent yourself from drowning. You know if you can't swim, right? And someone throws you in the uh, in the swimming pool and you're just trying to like, you know, people are like, people, people trying to say, calm down, calm down, calm down, and relax, but you can't relax. So what you do is that you start like beating your leg and uh, uh, beating your hands in the water so that you can, you know, not drown. 
technically that was my that was my experience in third year second semester of third year to be more precise and another thing is that you need to surround yourself with like-minded individuals who want to work as efficient as you and by surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals indeed you'll be able to make it through you'll be able to survive second semester of third year yeah I think I should take that advice of surrounding yourself with like-minded people because it doesn't seem like I'm doing that. Ish. Mm -hmm. Man! Oh shit! Oh shit! You're gonna edit this, run! <laughs> no, there's not a gap. There might be a gap in the Too far down that road. What is this? And no matter how difficult this year was, there was so much to do and so much to learn. I learned that there is plenty that I don't know and the challenge that I had to go through to uh, overcome my lack of knowledge in certain fields such as software development that grew me as a person. I also had the opportunity to attend the AWS which was such an experience, you know, something that I never imagined. And my friend graduated, so I also had the pleasure to just go to her graduation and see that at the end of the day, no matter how difficult it is, I'm actually going to smile like her, <laughs> you know, when this is finally done. And don't forget to take some rest. Don't forget to spend more time with your friends. Don't forget to visit places that you never thought you were going to visit, you know. Take some trip, take a break. You need a break. At least Dojo told me that I need a break. Maybe not a break for my results, but yeah, never mind. I get what I say. Don't forget to follow me and sign up in my YouTube channel or click the like bell, whatever they say.